Hey everybody, uh, this is Alfred here doing another one of our freshman breakdowns for the early signees. And today I want to talk to you about Gunnar Stockton, quarterback out of uh, North Georgia, who is committed to the University of Georgia. And he is a pretty highly ranked guy, QB7 on 24-7, QB7 on also the composite rankings, a four-star guy. Um you know, six foot one, nice, thick, stocky, 220 pounds, um, you know, a bit of a running quarterback. So that's always exciting. He is pretty highly rated and uh, thought of by by the Campus to Canton crew. And, um, you know, I'm going to jump in here and do this review and offer, I guess, some dissenting opinion, because for me, he is my QB 11 uh, in the class, which I think is is considerably lower than where a lot of people have him. And first, you know, let me break down what I do, you know, what I'm looking at with quarterbacks. First is going to be the motion, you know, and I think this is something we look at in pitchers a whole lot. And, uh, you know, I don't know if everyone's always looking at this for quarterbacks, but I think a, a tight, compact motion that you can repeat. Uh, and in baseball pitchers, they, they look at the motion to say, is it repeatable or is it complicated with a lot of levers moving? Um, and so I, I want to look at one that's that's compact and, and repeatable, consistent. Uh, obviously, that's going to be important. Strength, arm strength, that goes without saying. Usually I'm going to look to um, cross side hash, you know, uh, to the far hash, the out. Uh, can you deliver that ball with zip? In addition to obviously, you know, can you can you extend the, the field and get it downfield? Placement uh, goes without saying. Pocket is hard to do for quarterbacks, but I'm basically looking to see are you are you moving up in the pocket or are you going sideways? Or sometimes you see guys just backpedaling, um, which is not going to work at the next level. And then Konami code, I give a rating for, you know, ability as a runner, uh, difference making ability, really. Can you do this at the next level and chew up yards on the ground? Will they design runs for you? Are you a good enough runner that, that the coaching staff is going to say, hey, we want to use them as a, as a weapon in the run game and not, you know, simply get a couple yards when a play breaks down. So first of all, for Stockton, he's got a two on motion. Now, the, I grade these out of five, so two is not great. I would say it's below average. Um, and his motion strikes me as very long. He takes the ball back and around um, and then up. In addition, he, he takes a pretty big step when he throws, and it looks like that motion is uh, you know, a lot of effort. He does have a strong arm, and you'll see I gave him a four for arm strength. He can certainly get the zip behind the ball. He can throw it very far vertically down the field. There's not as much evidence of him kind of getting that deep out, like maybe a 10 yard out from the opposite hash, really getting it there with zip. I think he can do it. I think the arm strength isn't a problem, but the motion to get that strength is a lot of effort. Um, and it kind of takes a while to wind up and get that ball out. And as the game speeds up, as the, um, windows get tighter as the clock gets, t you know, more quick in the pocket, everything is faster. I do think that guys with an extended motion like that may have trouble, um, adjusting. And also when you kind of need this big effortful motion to get that power on the ball, it means to me, a little less likely to be able to throw off platform, a little less likely uh, to be able to just sling it kind of on the run and to be able to improvise, you know, for lack of a better word, because you need a strong base. It looks to me like he needs a strong base and a big step and a nice wind up to get that power on the football. And that kind of worries me. I mean, you see some other guys and they're slinging it with very little effort, with very little motion, um, quick, quickly, and that's not going to stop them. And so that kind of, it may, it's not as bad as like a Tim Tebow, but go watch old clips of Tim Tebow throwing. Go watch the famous clip of Tim Tebow throwing that pass in the, in the NFL playoff game. <laughs> 
it's like watching a guy try to throw a football in slow motion. And, and it, Gunnar Stockton isn't that bad, but it kind of reminds me a little of that Tebow motion. It's really elongated and really slow compared to like Aaron Rodgers is a great example of a guy who's literally back there flicking it like a shortstop uh, at all positions to, to every blade of grass on the field. So that's motion and strength. His placement's okay. Uh, I give him a three. Uh, you know, it's it's fine. I don't see anything that really wows me, to be honest. And if if you look at his highlights even, so not even a full game, but like his highlights, he's still throwing balls a little high. His receivers are frequently jumping up into the air um, and catching balls. He's not delivering it right into the path of the receiver where they're not having to break stride or break any steps. They do. He seems to be high, even in his highlights, even in his best plays, he's a little bit high. So I, you know, I don't think he's, um, you know, he doesn't have the best placement that I've seen here. Kind of an average guy. Um, pockets a two. He's kind of wild, which isn't bad. But he certainly tries to make things happen. And I think that's admirable. I think that's a good thing. But he doesn't strike me as a guy who's like cool, calm and collected in the pocket. He he gets out. He makes things happen uh, on the ground. He wants to run. He's a little skittish. Uh, I didn't see a great calm presence, you know, in that pocket looking for his receivers. Finally, come on, Konami Code. Yeah, the guy runs. He's a th I gave him a 3.5. <clears throat> um, he's a little better than your average QB. Uh, at the high school level, a lot of guys do contribute in the, on the ground, even even ones that won't necessarily do that at the next level. You know, he strikes me as uh, maybe a Sam Howell-ish, uh, maybe a little less um, dynamic version of Sam Howell. And Sam Howell just had like, I think, almost a thousand yards on the ground. So like certainly in college, I think I think he can run the ball. He seems to be more of a willing runner than a dangerous runner. And what I mean by that is, you know, if it's there, he's going to get some yards. He's he's fast enough. He's a big guy, obviously 220 pounds coming out of high school. He can do it and he's willing. Uh, I just don't see a lot of dangerous, you know, uh, change of direction. I don't see a lot of dangerous acceleration where he's really going to be a difference maker. I think, uh, you know, he'll contribute on the ground. He's not a zero uh, like some quarterbacks, but I, he just, you know, again, to say Tim Tebow, he's that kind of runner to me. Like he's going to be fine doing the QB power uh, up the middle. He's going to be fine uh, if the play breaks down and he steps up in the pocket and there's no one there. Yeah, he's going to get 15 yards and, you know, maybe even bowl a guy over at the end zone because he's a big, you know, mean runner but he's more fullback than, than Lamar Jackson, you know? And I, I just sometimes wonder how much that's going to translate at the next level. It can happen. We've seen it, but he's just not dynamic. He's just more of like willing to do it and, and athletic enough, but not necessarily a game changer on the ground. So that's why I gave him a 3.5 all in all. It comes out to a guy who scores, um, you know, QB 11 for me. And um, I do give a bonus for going to Georgia because if you're going to one of these high, high prestige schools, then, you know, if you succeed, you're going to be, get that draft capital. Everyone's going to have eyes on you. And um, so I do, you know, hedge a little bit saying like, look, maybe I'm missing something. But what I don't what I see is a guy who's kind of OK and his uh, competition in North Georgia, small, I think like single or double A, single or two A, uh, North Georgia, kind of very country, very rural up there. I'm not sure the competition is good at all. I mean, Georgia high school football is good in general, but but Stockton, you know, kind of like Vandegrift from a year ago playing small private schools, uh, the competition was real weak. So they kind of have a similar guy in like Vandegrift and Stockton. So maybe one of them will pan out. But to me, um, Good player, but I don't see a real game changer to me. Um, and neither one of them honestly seem to fit what Kirby wants to do. So it's kind of weird. Both of the Vandegrift and Stockton fits at Georgia. He's, you know, the coaching staff and Kirby seems to want a guy who is a game manager, not a dual threat. So we'll see how they fit. Uh, it's going to be interesting. But that's my take on Gunnar Stockton. Uh, ask around. I know all the other campus Canton guys seem to like him more than me. So 
you know, maybe we can learn together and see why they're so high on him. But that's what I see. And uh, tune in for more freshman reviews from Campus to Canton. I'm Alfred.